I want to show you how you can build a storefront for your Surecart products using Thrive Architect or really any page builder. The purpose of this is because Surecart recently released their new storefront, this like new store feature, as well as a new product page feature, but neither of those are actually compatible with the theme builder that I use. I use Thrive Theme Builder, which is part of Thrive Suite, and that means it's also not really compatible with Thrive Architect. However, the ability to create your own store page, I'm gonna put that in quotes, and your own product pages has always existed in Surecart since it came out because of features like the add to cart and the add to or instant checkout or the ability to go right to the checkout form for a specific product. Building your own Surecart shop page is really simple in Thrive Architect. We're going to open up a new page on our site. This can be any type of page you want. You could get rid of the header, but we're just gonna add some columns to get started. We're gonna do a three column layout, something really simple. And I'm going to add in a content box here into the first column. We're going to build one of our course offerings and then we're just going to duplicate it again to make it easy to replicate. Let's go ahead and add in an image into our content box for our course. We'll do something like Thrive with Surecart, which is my Surecart course. And then let's add in a title below that using text. We'll say Thrive with Surecart. We'll make that an H2 and center it. And then we'll reduce the line spacing and on our image, we will get rid of the extra height so that everything is balanced inside of our content box. Now I also want to click on my content box. And again, if you're unable to kind of move your mouse to grab that, just click on anything inside the content box and in the breadcrumbs, go to your content box and then scroll down. And let's go ahead and add some styling to this. Let's add a shadow, we'll add a shadow effect. Let's drop this down to like 10% opacity. Let's do zero distance. And I think a 12 blur is fine. Click apply. And then on borders and corners, let's give that a one pixel border. Let's change it to something really light gray. So it's just very, very subtle. That might be too subtle. Let's maybe make it a little bit darker. And then let's make this rounded something like 12 pixels. That looks pretty nice. Something very subtle, might even go more subtle on the shadow. Something like 8%. There we go, looks pretty good. Now we need to add a button to this so that somebody can go and purchase it. And there's two options in Surecart that I'm going to show you. Go to one of your products inside of Surecart and then scroll down and find the pricing that you created. And then next to it, you'll see this copy links button. Click on that and you're going to be given some options. The first one is the buy link. The buy link just takes you directly to the checkout where you can buy that product right away. The next option is the add to cart button short code. This allows you to add the product to a cart that slides out so that you can accumulate multiple products in your cart before you proceed to checkout. This works really well for lower priced items like PDFs and things that maybe don't cost $299 each like a course. Let's go ahead and use the add to cart button short code, but I'll show you how the other one works in a second. Let's click copy, then click done. Let's come back to our builder. And that was a short code. We can take text drop it right below our course title that we put in, paste in our short code, and then we can highlight that and center it. We can also change the text. If you don't like add to cart, we could change that to add course to cart, customizes it just a little bit. And then we can save our work and preview what that looks like. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now, before we can test that this works, we need to go into our Surecart settings. So I'll come over here, go to Surecart settings in WordPress, under store settings, scroll down and find enable cart. For now in this video, all we wanna focus on is toggling on enable cart and making sure you save. Now coming back to our demo, we can click the add to cart button and let's see what happens. There we go. The cart slides out from the right and it contains the product that we clicked add to cart. This slide out cart is completely customizable. I go over all of that inside the Surecart cart course, but I mean, at a glance, it's actually pretty nice looking. It has an add coupon code button, that's pretty slick, and the ability to jump right into the checkout. But before we go to the checkout, I wanna show you this add to cart feature with more than just one product. So let's go ahead and duplicate what we've built here two more times so that we can see that feature in action. Using content boxes, it's pretty easy. I just click duplicate on the content box, and now I can click here and swap out my image. I'll add in my Thrive Apprentice course, maybe drop this down another line, that looks balanced, and then I'll duplicate it one more time. Now we need to replace those two buttons. So let's go back to our products and copy those codes. Again, come to the product, scroll down, click copy links, click add to cart button, click copy, come back in here, 
Let's go ahead and add in another text element below, paste that in, and we're good to go. Now for our third option, I actually want to show you the other option that you could use if you didn't want to add it to cart. Let's go back to our products. Now we have two options for buy links. We can use just a straight buy link. Here we could use the Thrive Theme Builder button. Basically copy the link, put in a button. You've done that a million times. But we can also use the buy button short code. Let's just use that for consistency. So click copy, come back in here. Let's drop in a text element, paste in our code. And here you can see we have a couple of options. We have the ability to change the text. It currently says buy now, buy the course. We'll say buy the course for our button. And then we can also adjust our quantity here in case you were selling some physical products or something where somebody would want to buy just more than one. Let's go ahead and save our work and give this a test. Okay, we have two options for adding our course to cart. And then we have a third option here just to go buy it. First, let's take a look at what it's like to just go and buy the course by clicking the buy course button. You can see that it takes us directly to our checkout page. And I have another video all about this checkout page and I go over it in the course as well. Now this is our default checkout page. So you can create checkout forms and pages for each of your products individually. Like you could put a big, I could put a big Thrive Theme Builder course logo at the top. And I have other videos on the channel all about that. And I cover this more extensively in my course, but this is just our generic checkout page. I didn't even customize it at all. I literally just inserted it and it's good to go. So that's the experience of clicking the button and going right to buy it. But maybe we want to buy more than just one course. So let's click back and Technically, we have a course in our cart already because we went to buy it, but we could click add course to cart for Thrive with SureCart. And you're going to see that on the right hand side, our course slides out and adds it to the cart. Let's go ahead and continue checking out. Let's click out of the cart. It closes nicely and click add to cart for Thrive Apprentice to Master. And then you'll see it slides in. And now we have all three products in our checkout and we can proceed to check out with this button at the bottom. And that's going to take us right back to our universal checkout page where we have all three products in our cart this time. So that's really all there is to building your own storefront page. I could easily create a page with all of my different products on it, break them out by categories. I could have my courses, my workshops, my cohorts. I could have my memberships have their own unique section, maybe in a two column layout. There's a lot that I could do with that to make it a very visual appealing experience even above and beyond what SureCart gives you with just their default shop experience that's not compatible with Thrive Theme Builder and other page builders. And if you're selling things like physical products or products that maybe aren't like a big digital course, maybe you're selling some PDFs or things that someone would want to add to cart, I think this feature works really, really well. And it's really seamless with this general checkout page. If you're interested in my Thrive with SureCart course, I do sell that individually, but you can get it completely for free if you pick up SureCart through my affiliate link where I get a small commission for that sale. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can learn more about that bonus. But that's all for this tutorial. I hope that was helpful. If you have any SureCart questions or Thrive questions, as always, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to them. And I'll see you in the next video.